All right, so today we're going to talk about the infamous blue cube and things that you can do with it. Let's get right into it. Okay, so after that super dramatic intro, um, this is the objective device. Um, there's not only one objective device, there are many objective devices and you can find them if you go into your Ma Island, then you go into creative and then you go into devices and then you go look for the objective device gallery and you can see if you're gonna place it down. There are a lot of cool objectives in here, but obviously for obvious reasons, the, the shape of this device, the blue cube is the one that is getting used the most for different you know uses. And let's get right into the first thing that you can do with it. So starting off, you can actually move sentries uh, from their platform. Um, sentries in this game are stationary and they cannot be moved by themselves technically. Uh, but there are a few devices which can actually move the, um, the sentries from their platform. So you can kind of create some NPCs which are like standing around in your area or whatever without having the, the ugly uh, spawner plate of the device there. Or use it for different purposes like having them on boosters or whatever. Um, yes, you can also boost them around if you put a booster under them. So uh, also the objective device is not the only device that can do that. The trick tie can do that as well. But you can also see that if you move the objective device a little bit, uh, you can also spawn it on top of it. So you can be very creative with that stuff. You can also turn off the objective device so this, uh, the sentry will fall again. Uh, and you can create some really cool stuff with this. Where you can have like, you know, sentries on different levels or whatever. For any maps, this uh, could be very useful. And that is the first thing. Let's move on to the next one. So moving on to the next one, we have the infamous lighting for windows. Um, I use this in a lot of my maps and it is a super nice way to light up your windows, especially for horror maps. Um, the good thing about this is that you can obviously turn it on and off. Uh, so you can see here, now the lighting is off and now we can turn it on again. Um, this is like one of the only devices which has this really cool like, you know, shine through window lighting effect. There's not a lot of devices which can do this. Um, so, you know, this is very cool. Obviously it's quite specific. It's obviously a bluish tint, so it cannot be used for every map or whatever. Uh, but especially in horror maps or like kind of coldish maps, you could say, uh, where you have like a blue lighting effect or whatever, this can be used very nice. And then obviously all you have to do is go into your device, uh, hide health bar at always, and then have a channel for uh, visibility, visibility on and off. So that is super simple, super basic. And let's move on. So for the next one, I have the voting system. Um, yes, you can build it with the objective devices. You can also build it with other stuff, but I think the objective devices is one of the cooler ones. Uh, because you have a health bar where you can you know, see how many people hit it or how many people already you know voted for it, you could say. Um, and all you have to do is basically, if you want to have a two thingy voting system, you need obviously two objective devices. And then set the uh, collision during games to only when visible. Uh, turn off needs to be on the same channel for both of the devices. Uh, the reason for that is obviously uh, that it saves channels. Um, and then you want to have a different output for the, all of them. For example, channel four here, uh, when this device gets destroyed, gives you a shotgun or whatever. Uh, and for this one, uh, gives you this revolver. Um, and that's basically all you have to do. And obviously one thing which is very important that if I, for example, vote for this one, I want this one to disappear, obviously. So people cannot shoot this anymore and then accidentally uh, activate the whatever. Um, so what you want to do is you, as I already said, you have an output here and then you want to put that into a trigger device, trigger when receiving from, and then put the channel five, which is the turn visible. So both of them will turn invisible. Technically you already voted for this one. So only this one turns visible and this one is already destroyed, if that makes sense. So you can see here, uh, if I hit it, it turns down 50 and I voted, I get the shotgun. This one turned invisible. I cannot shoot anything anymore here. And uh, we voted for no, obviously pineapples don't belong on pizza. That is very common sense. And uh, let's move on to the next one. All right. So obviously all of you guys know that we have barriers in the game. Uh, the problem with the barriers are that they're very clunky and they only fit on tiles. You cannot really like scale them too much. They're like very good for very large portions, but they're very bad if you want to have like certain areas. So, and this is where the objective device comes in very handy. Uh, you can use this as the same one as the barrier bag. It works basically the same. Uh, and so what you want to set up in here, obviously uh, health has to be invulnerable. Obviously it should not get destroyed. Uh, hide the health bar so there's not this orange thingy there. And then obviously turn it off in game, unless you want to have it visible for some reason. 
Uh, but what you can do here is like you can have like very certain areas which are breakable and then you have other areas which are not breakable. So in this case, I want to have this whole war section like invulnerable so nobody can break it. But I want to have this little part here so people can find it and break into it and then have a secret room or whatever. So you can see here, these walls are invulnerable uh, and I cannot destroy them. But if I go in here, I can actually destroy this wall and then I can you know, kind of jump through it and you know have a little portion and i think it's very neat to know that uh, especially for like if you want to protect like very small stuff uh, this is very good to know all right so the next one is for the autistic people under you guys um, you can create a very cool aquarium with the objective device or in general you can create some really cool underwater themed stuff uh, with the objective device because it has this like kind of water feeling to it and especially in an aquarium this looks really cool because uh, the top side is kind of like shiny like in an aquarium would be uh, and then all you have to do is basically put in a, a sand or whatever, like some kind of ground into it where it looks like this is actually an aquarium floor or whatever. And then put in some plants, put, put in some uh, water props and you're good to go. Um, it looks super nice, super neat and can add that little extra detail to your map. So the next one is something that a lot of your box web map creators are probably already know. Uh, but it is obviously having the objective device as a barrier to block editing stuff. Um, you can see here that uh, I can edit this you know, just normally. And if I have the objective device in front of it, uh, it won't allow me to edit. Also, you can turn this off so you can see if we start the game here. So you can see that I cannot destroy this wall. I cannot edit it. There's no way that I can edit it. But you can see there here, this wall where I have uh, no objective device. I can destroy it. I can edit it. I can edit out here. But this one just doesn't work. Uh, so this is very helpful, especially if you want to, you know, kind of want players to stay in a certain area so they don't edit out, they don't shoot anyone or whatever. It is very useful for that kind of stuff. Moving on to the next one, you can also create some kind of uh, player is ready system. Um, and all you have to do for this one, and that's the reason why I like this device so much, is you can have like explosive devices set up around it. Uh, so this explosive device will deal uh, 25 damage and you can see this whole objective device has 100 damage. So each of these will deal 25 damage to the 100 damage. So that means basically you can have like players activate certain things or, or you can have like player spawns which activate these and then you can have like the objective device activate something in itself. So you can have like whatever, uh, send a signal. So you can see if I go here, you can see it's taking slowly damage and then, you know, all players already can pop up or whatever you want to, you kind of add to that. And it's super useful, especially for like having stuff like this, where you need to have certain players ready. Obviously this is like destructible, so you cannot use this again. So for the last one, I have one out of the good to know category. And it is that the objective device is also a, an explosive device. Um, in a certain way, it is a better and also a worse explosive device. You can see in here that you have the option to add a blast radius. Um, uh, and that means that you can have explosions. The reason why this is maybe not so good or good is because the explosive damage that this device is putting out is basically infinite and it destroys everything in the blast radius. You can see that I have this nice uh, little castle here with the objective device in it. And if I destroy it, the castle is not looking that beautiful anymore. Um, though it's obviously a very good thing that it destroys everything, but it also could be not that quite good if you just want to destroy certain parts. So keep that in mind if you want to use the objective device as an explosive device. Uh, it is quite useful in some cases, but not so useful in others. Also, the explosive device can only go up to 5k damage for structures, uh, which should be enough for most props in the game, but maybe in the future we get something which has more. So I don't know. And that is basically it with the video. Um, you know, you get the deal. Follow me on Twitter, uh, at RichieTunes. I post uh, stuff. Yes, sometimes. And uh, yeah, you can join as a member if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.